And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Brom Kench. That's right, not Tom Kench. We're playing Brom Kench. Uh, going over to Freljord, and we're going to be freezing stuff in our Tom Kench Brom deck. Of course, Tom Kench is a card that um, wants to capture the enemies, and of course, it makes these acquire taste, the one to, to capture enemies, but those enemies do strike Tom Kench. That's kind of bad. So to keep that from, from being too bad, we're going to be Frostbite. We got all this Frostbite caught in the cold, uh, Flash Freeze, Harsh Winds, all sorts of Frostbite. And then, of course, our permanent Frostbite card, our combo card, Rhyme Tusk Shaman, that goes perfectly with the Tom Kench. So we're going to be Frostbiting their stuff and then eating it with Tom Kench. Some other payoffs for Frostbiting. We have Rhyme Fang Wolf in here that whenever it strikes a you know, zero power, you just kill that. Um, we also have Shatter that um, deals four to an enemy if it has zero power. And we also have Braum that can can challenge stuff. Now, Braum, usually you want it to survive damage. So, you, you know, you're probably not frostbiting something and then challenging it with Braum. But, you know, Braum's in here being all cool. We're also going to be a Feel the Rush deck. That's going to be our top end card to really take over. Where Feel the Rush can put in a... That's where Braum gets really powerful after we Feel the Rush. Because then you have a 10-10 challenger with regeneration with Braum that can also put Mighty Poros into play. That's pretty awesome. And then, of course, obviously a 10-10 Tom Kench makes it more difficult to kill Tom Kench and makes it easier to capture things as well. So we're going Feel the Rush, Brom, Tom Kench, and a whole bunch of Frostbite. Brom Kench. All right, we're playing, playing it over in normal because it's meme tier Tuesday today. Ooh, we're playing against Tom Kench Soraka. So we got Tom Kench Mirror. They're going with just the traditional Soraka list. We're going with a much cooler Braum list. Let's keep our hand. I like this. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about the entry. You know, like, I'm not sure. This is going to be an interesting one to kind of try out. Well, now that we have the other Braum in hand, now we probably don't need this entreat, but that's okay. Entreat may be useful later. You can see this new timer thing that keeps popping up. All right, we'll have Rampang Wolf. Just slow speed ways to freeze. No, like, Brittle Steel. That's all right. Did we save our mana for these? That's good. So they may want to play Tom Kench because usually it's better to be the the second person here in this in this scenario because they play their Tom Kench, and then they they get to have priority first, and their Tom Kench can eat my Tom Kench. This world has great potential. Oh, but of course we are a. Let's go with this. We are this Frostbite deck with the Rhymefang Wolf. So they play the Tom Kench, we then challenge it. Now obviously I don't want to see Pale Cascade. That's where this goes wrong for me, but I think it's worth it to try to kill the Soraka. Hey, Meat Man. Climb is going pretty good. Mm. Okay. That's how that goes. Yeah, we're playing memes today. I'm sure there's something for my We got some frozen snacks here with a Braum Tom Kench deck. Always had a propensity for seafood. You keep your distance there, Tommy boy. Ah, that's too bad. Allow me a small sample. You leave me no choice. Where are you? Take Kind of need brittle steel. Of the star. Take heart. Live with purpose. That's too bad. So if I play Braum, then I only have six mana next turn. Yep. 
appetizers of plenty. Bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world. <clears throat> Live with purpose. I think they wanted to play like a Tom Kent or something like that after I used my acquired taste. I will find the goodness in you, River King. Who only provides temporary sustenance, child? Just basically just don't want them healing this thing. Don't want them to be able to challenge with it. Bastions. I think I'd rather just save the spell mana. Oh, flash freeze. The frost reveals all to me. Oh, I don't require a menu. So we can feel the rush next turn. Okay, I don't think that does anything. Come on in. Like, that just means that if my Tom Kench dies, they don't get their Tom Kench back. So I can go like buy you brunch and remove my Tom Kench, and then they don't they won't get their Tom Kench back ever. So let's see. Let's say I use this to draw another Tom Kench. I could My play that and then cold. buy you brunch and then buy you brunch again. No, that no, never mind. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Oh yeah, you're right. It was because it was silenced after, so they would still get it back. Okay, never mind. How can Brom help? Basically just casting the Entreat right now to use some mana. Live with purpose. How do we keep the Star Spring from killing me? Sends chills up my spine. Where there's a will, there's a I like that card, that's good. Take one Tom Cash from my hand. So do we have to, how do we do this? Do we choose like which Tom Kench? Or is it, I guess it's just like whichever, whichever one creates it. I've never had two Tom Kenches in play on the same side before. I'm sure there's something for my taste. Okay, yeah, so it looks like it's it's the one that creates it. It's like the, that Tom Kench on the right created that one, so they, they swallowed that one. Whoever creates it. Uh, the Star Child, I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. <clears throat> So I don't want to do damage to their Nexus right now, because then that would let them their Broadback Protector self-damage. I do want to kill this 2-3. Okay, GG's. Basically, I want to kill all their, their units with damage, because I don't want that Star Spring to level up. And then and basically just over time we're eating two units a turn. And so over time, we're just going to wipe out their board and then finally uh, kill them in one shot. Okay. Yeah, and Kordak says that too. That's good to realize. So, okay, so it's always... Whatever Tom Kench creates, the Acquired Taste is the only one that can use it. So if you have if you have Tom Kench in play, 
it, it makes an acquired taste. They kill your Tom Kench. You play a new Tom Kench. That new Tom Kench is not able to use the old acquired taste. Good to know. I didn't realize that. All right, let's mulligan these. We'll keep our entreat. <laughs> they really wants to have shatter. Start with two shatter, mulligan them, get two shatter right back. My faith protects me. <laughs> Who goes there? Scorching light. I could attack and try to go troll chant. I don't know if that's really the best use of my troll chant, though. I think we're just going to hang back and chill. Maybe I should cast Entreat. I should probably cast Entreat. Let's, we should probably do that and save mana. The reason why I wouldn't would be to be able to keep burst speed flash freeze. But now that we have burst speed troll chant, I think it's fine to... to uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why it came easy to me. The dawn has arrived. With its light, the glorious light rain us down. All right. Braum's a better blocker for this turn. Tom Kench is like one that we don't really want to block with that much, but I want to start creating those acquired tastes faster. Like I don't think they're going to really attack with these things into Tom Kench anyway. I could be wrong. Devotion through battle. Yeah, could be wrong. Nope. So troll chant to save three damage, or just take the three damage. We'll probably take the three damage. I'm sure there's something for my tastes. Okay, I think we're probably just going to go Shatter, Acquired Taste. The problem with going Shattered, Acquired Taste would be if, if their plan is like Swain this next turn. Because I wouldn't have anything that would be able to, to block Swain. Because that would basically take up my whole turn going Shattered, Acquired Taste. Um, so alternatively, maybe I just play the Braum. They can get a Mighty Poro and help against, <clears throat> help against the Swain. All right. One Tom Kench down. It is easy, see? Looking for Feel the Rush. That would probably be my card that I would like to draw the most. Blessings so I can, I can spend three cards to kill Leona? I am the bulwark against darkness. And go flash freeze and then shatter shatter. Seems like a lot of cards. Time for talk. Show me your best. So this is why I think that maybe this deck should, should maybe have like some some card draw, uh, like the salvages, because sometimes you just have all of these cards and they don't do anything. They will eventually, but we just have enough, you know, like we're just going to be wasting all this mana this turn. Unless I want to, to spend three cards to kill Leona, which that is an option. Yeah, Mystery decks are good. I've seen a lot of those recently. <clears throat> I want to draw Field of Rush, but then also like a, a Rhyming Wolf wouldn't be bad. A beam of light to pierce the heavens! Yeah, that, that obliterate, them grabbing the obliterate for the Tom Kench was, that hurt. 
That hurt. We needed. We needed that Tom Kench with his hand. This hand is just completely relying on that Tom Kench. out of frostbite spells we have three six nine ten eleven in the deck no we've drawn eight sorry we've drawn eight of the eleven let's pass they think themselves cultured <laughs> ah, an auspicious season I feel this by we should be friends. <clears throat> All right, so Leon is gone. One threat down. This would be a good winter. It is easy, see? Of course, keep the uh, keep the early soul from leveling up. Awesome, love the entreat. That could definitely be a Tom Kench. Hopefully, that's a Tom Kench. Our is at its Blessed daylight Tom Kench. Hmm. That's not good. If they didn't grab that obliterate card, because they probably wouldn't have really had any other ways to, to kill. Um, actually, using another shatter now. I probably probably would not have had any other ways to kill my Tom Kench. Wow, that's it? Just, just not even doing any other attacks? Yes, yeah, so they have 26 right now. Puts him down to 24. I could have played the, the take heart on that Starlet Seer right there. I do love an audience. All right, Tom Kench. Yay. This would be a good winter. All right, Tom Kench, you're going to have to be pretty good. Considering you don't make your acquired taste until next turn. Oh, yeah, sure. That works. Alright, GG's. Alright, one on one. We'll try to draw better our next game. Ooh, playing against ephemerals. I'll take it. Frostbite's pretty good against ephemerals. Alright, we'll look at Frostbite, because we'll we'll find more Frostbite spells, <laughs> as we noticed last game. We'll keep the entreat. Hopefully that grabs us Tom Kench. Turn one, Omen Hawk. That's a fun one. Okay, look at that, Rhymefang Wolf. You've been great to have last game. We would have killed a bunch of stuff with Rhymefang Wolf. Not playing a treat yet, gonna bank the two spell mana for these troll chants. Everything's better with company. Says you. Let's move. Okay. Whoa. Alright, playing that nice and early. That does make the Frostbite cards even better. Because that gives, it's like, um, if you're not familiar with this card, Encroaching Shadow, so all their allies in their deck are now ephemeral, but they all get plus two, plus two. 
that's the payoff. But they're all ephemeral now. So if you if we frostbite something that's ephemeral, then it's uh, just gonna die and not do any damage. So that's pretty sweet. Six mana, burst speed, kill two things. Let's get the Braum in play first. That Braum, Braum can block with Troll Chant. Maybe we should have done the plus two to the Rhyme Fang Wolf and just the minus two to the Shark. Probably didn't need to do that plus two to the Rom also. It is easy, see? <laughs> All right, time for eight. Try to put him down to ten. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Mark of the Isles. Plus two, plus two buff. They may have had that. So basically, all we have to do is not die next turn, and then we uh, attack with all these things. And I think that just Harsh Winds next turn is good. I think I can kind of tap out besides Harsh Winds. I can't really imagine they're going to do 18 through harsh winds like they're probably gonna have like they got like green glade duos and uh the the three one that that card silent shadow seer they could have a bunch of those i guess i guess they could only have three though at six mana shadow take you Well, if I wouldn't have opened an attack, they could have played, you know, like a Dark Water Scourge to block last turn, too. So we plan on open attacking again and hopefully killing them with this. Now you stay back, Braum. You don't get into combat. This is a great matchup for us with Flash Freeze. No. All right. All right, they get another attack step. Oh, never mind. No, they don't. Never mind. I can't math. All right, two and one. Okay. Fiora. I like Frostbite against Fiora. Do you like Frostbite here? Ooh, feel the rush. That's exciting. Let's let's just keep all these. I know this is slow. Frostbite, which sometimes we need faster frostbite, but let's keep it. It'd be exciting. Yeah, like this. So there's like a new timer thing that I'm not exactly sure what it's about, but it's about. I think it's something about like banking time for future turns or something. There's a new. There's a new update in the timer. They didn't really explain it very well, so I don't really know exactly what's going on with it. Um, I don't like this. I use... I don't know if I want to use Flash Freeze to keep Starless Seer alive, honestly. I think that that may be just too much of a pain to try to keep Starless Seer alive turn after turn. I think that's just going to be an unfortunate ending. Table for one, if you'd oblige. No, there are no fast uh, Frostbite cards. There are a couple of slow and mostly burst. No fast. I think the, the burst makes sense so that... Because the I think the reason why is because, like, let's say you're in combat and your opponent would play a, a fast Frostbite spell. You couldn't then use a pump spell um, afterwards. Play the prom. You couldn't play a pump spell afterwards. Because if you know, like even if you play like burst speed pump spells in response, then you know, like right before damage would happen, you know, the fast spells all resolve first and then damage happens. So it would get frostbitten and then damage would happen and you couldn't stop that. Now obviously that'd be better with cards like single combat. 
or things like that. But uh, I think that's the reason why is like you can frostbite and then after you frostbite, then people can be like, all right, well now my thing has zero power. Now I'm gonna buff it up with the Fury of the North and make it plus three. First we fight. Ha! This is fun, yes? So I just didn't play the acquired taste last turn. Had them waste their whole turn. They're certainly holding holding all this mana up with the Fiora, probably things like Repost. Maybe stuff like that. All right, Omen Hawk, can I play you? Yeah, the Fiora has one health. Yeah, I can play you. Hey, Pob Pobed. Hello, hello. Let us peruse this establishment. All right, two turns away from Field of Rush. Courage, soldier. I'm not getting the most efficient use out of these Frostbite cards. I, Especially with the Nopify last turn, I wish I didn't use the Shatter last turn, but... Face me. All right. Oh, I don't require many. One turn away from Field of Rush. <laughs> Stop. On, I'm just gonna eat the 5-5, five five. I'll let it hurt my Tom Kench. We're gonna take heart it. Because I like casting the take hearts and putting the Brahms back into the deck, because we're gonna just pull the Brahms out of the deck anyway, so like might as well might as well get the value there instead of having the Brahm just be taken from my hand. Um You are safe with This attack's a little surprising. I just want to play Field of Rush this turn. They could single combat and kill this Tom Kench. Oh, well, maybe we just wait a turn to play Field of Rush. I don't really want to play Field of Rush this turn, but I guess we should wait a turn. Cool. So that's a leveled up Tom Kench. Come along. There's room. So that all those, those other three cards that we ate are obliterated. And we feel pretty good about this game. Feel the rush time. Let's get 1010 10 Brom, 1010 10 Tom Kench. So 1010 10 Brom Kench. Ten ten Brom Kench. <laughs> there we go, GG's. Yeah, Feel the Rush is awesome in this deck. Both of those champions being 1010s ten are really good. I wonder if this deck should have three Field of Rush instead of two. Maybe you play two and treat three Field of Rush instead of the other way around. Not bad cards, um, but I kind of want to look for you know Tom Kench and 
everything like that. Let's keep a flash freeze. I like flash freeze. I, I really like the burst speed. Goodness of flash freeze. Yay, don't catch. Mountain Goat. That one's a problem. I'm not using a troll chant to keep them from... I mean, they'd still get the gem anyway, so yeah, like, we're just not playing that. Ooh, not playing any of these. Buzzy Caretaker. Make a 6-2 Mountain Goat. Unique. Please do not kill my Tom Kench. I need it alive. Oh, I don't require a menu. We see through all. All right, let's start buffing. I could definitely see them playing, like, Pill Cascade or something like that. Okay, they're just going to deny. That's fine. I'm glad we didn't... I'm glad I didn't use the Frostbite card first. Each life a rare jewel. To be savored in perpetuity. Perpetuity. So I could use two cards to kill the, the Tarek. Seems okay. Yeah, Tarek's probably worth two cards. Especially when we're... Creating free removal spells every turn. Unfortunately, I couldn't quite have Starless here. Kill that. So yeah, so we, we use two cards to kill a Tarek, then we also get the plus two, plus two on our next unit. There, so yeah, that's still, that's worth it. Is pretty big. I think I had 12 power by the end of that. Take hot. Take hot. Unyielding light. What so our friends didn't know? Have you met my shield? I know I could. Kill stuff, but I'm just gonna wait a turn. Oh. Just playing out of the way. We're gonna be playing out of the way later. Out of the way, pretty cool. I'm sure there's something for my taste. My faith protects me. Dusk approaches. No more lies. I will be heard. Well then. Face your heretic. Interesting. Heard. You are a 
safe with brawl. Okay. So I have to use both of these, Troll Chant and Flash Freeze, to keep Tom Kench alive. Think hard. Think blessed by snow and stars. This would be a good win. We'll go ahead and do that. Because that not only keeps my Tom Kench alive, but also we're going to be able to kill that Diana. Because remember, all those buffs they just gave the Diana are going to be permanent. Like the fuzzy caretaker and everything. Like that's that's all permanent. Come on in. By snow and stars. Okay, well we're out of cards. But we have a pretty sweet board. Let us peruse this establishment. <laughs> six six omen hawk. These eyes see all. I seal this by sword. Good luck. Have fun. This would level up Braum if this works. <laughs> I think it's permanent lifesteal now. Steel. I do like the the like little animation for out of the way, like this this kind of stuff. I like that. It's pretty cool. So they have three cards and a gem. Devotion through battle. Or six one block and six six. This would be a good winter. This is a pretty crazy combat trick matchup between our deck and their deck. It's just combat tricks everywhere. Okay, cool. Not not a pale cascade. Very glad about that. Oh, I don't require me. That's a good one. Let's see, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's go, our friends, they Have you met my shield? Okay. Basically kind of seeing if we want to play the Tom, if we want to do attack with the Tom Kench, but it's not lethal, so. Alright, 5 mana draw card. Five mana draw a card. That's kind of the problem with out of the way, is it turns into five mana draw a card afterwards. I am glad that that does have, you know, the text draw a card on it. Okay, GG's. Four and one. Now we gormandize. Yeah, it worked well. We just had the we had the one game where we ended up drawing eight of our eleven frostbite cards and then a troll chant. And you know, we just had nothing to do. And then, you know, like we had a Tom Kench, but they had the obliterate card for the Tom Kench that they got with their invoke. But if it wasn't for you know if it wasn't for that obliterate card, then all those frostbite things with the acquired taste would have been great. Uh, but uh, be besides that, it looked pretty decent. I could like I'm not sure about like Omen Hawk. Um, I don't know if that's necessary. It's a good blocker against aggro, but um, it's not a card you want to be drawing late. It did feel like our deck could use a little bit more power. You know, like a little bit more late game. Um, 
you know, like we like I just saw like that last game, we're just like out of cards, kind of at the mercy of our opponent. I think that um, I, I was really impressed with Field of Rush in this deck. This deck looked like a perfect Field of Rush deck. So um, this deck was from Sideways. Yeah, Sideways made this deck. So I was really really impressed with Field of Rush. Um, and then yeah, maybe, maybe the I, I think the one thing that this deck's kind of missing is is some card draw where you can because the thing about Frostbite cards is they're usually not permanent removal. And you, so you kind of need, especially if we're playing such a long game like this deck can, we're going to need more cards. And so I think the Salvage could work out. I think I, I would recommend playing Salvage and another Field of Rush. And I would I would honestly probably take out Omen Hawk. It didn't seem to really fit our deck that that well. And then out then probably one of the frostbite cards or an entreat like with us playing these extra cards we, we don't need to entreat as much so i think i think that's what i would do i think i would i think the the, the omen hawk honestly turned out to, to not really be necessary i don't think now if you play against like a lot of like noxus aggro you need like the one one blocker then then maybe but we also are, are pretty good against aggro with having Braum, tom kench starlet's here this kind of stuff and then having frostbite cards another option here like with the like, Entreat's kind of important because, you know, you need to find Tom Kench. But we saw that sometimes, like, our Entreats were just drawing Braum and when we didn't need Braum. With having another Field of Rush, that's another way to get Tom Kench into play. And then Salvage, this is kind of like our, our way to kind of dig towards Tom Kench. I think if, if we play those, we may not need to play Entreat. And if, if we want another blocker, I think that what could work better than Omen Hawk would honestly be Averroes and Sentry. I think that, that Averroes and Sentry could work well here. I think I'd rather have this than Omen Hawk of, of blocking, but then also you know drawing the card for us. So I think I think I'd probably rather have that than Entreat, but not 100% sure because that still draws. Uh, but it doesn't tutor like Entreat does. So that's that's something to kind of keep an eye out on. I think Sentry could be good because you just want to play some defense and get try to get this stuff set up. So. But to not change the deck up too much, um, I think that's what I would probably recommend, is uh, just go with another Field of Rush. And <clears throat> um, Okay, besides that, I did, like the, I did like the Shatters. The Shatter dealing four damage did help a couple of times. I'm not too big into Caught in the Cold in this deck whenever we, like all of our units basically have Challenger anyway. I would, I would also probably want some Brittle Steals, because want to be able to um, have some more burst speed interaction. I think that I would go like two Brittle Steel over two Caught in the Cold. If you want to keep a Caught in the Cold in there, that, that's cool. But I think Brittle Steel is going to be a little bit better than that. Because uh, we just see during combat, like when you're playing like Rhymefang Wolf and uh, you know, like they have pump spells and stuff, you want to have something during combat. You want to be able to respond to Bastion. Um, you want to, same thing with the box post with having stuff during combat. Um, you want to, like, whenever they fight, if they, like, fight your Tom Kench with, you know, like, single combat, that kind of stuff, um, or if they challenge, you know, if they have, like, Fiora challengers and they just go straight to challenging, gotta have some more burst speed frostbite, I think, then, then basically we, we had the flash freeze and we had the harsh winds, which is really expensive, but I want something else that, that's cheap. So I don't want that, but, um, but yeah, this was impressive. I, I definitely think that this was, this was an impressive deck. With how uh, this looked with Tom Kench with just tons and tons of Frostbite. And then, of course, with Feel the Rush as well. Feel the Rush was was really good. So there we go. That's Braum Kench. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.